guys welcome back to a brand new video today I am going to be showing you giving you giving you a tutorial on how to make a ragdoll death in Roblox studio <laughs> is you're gonna go to starter player, starter character script, click on the plus, and we're going to insert not local script, a regular script. Now get rid of this print, print hello world. Now I'm gonna do local human, local, there, humanoid, equal script, dot parent, call me for child, Wait, we can also, uh, we can actually also name the script. You can name it however you want. I'm just going to name it Ragdoll Script. And then, the reason why, now you get, we're going to put in Humanoid. And you're probably like, but Amanda, there is, but Amanda, there isn't any Humanoid. Well, I am very aware of that. Basically, in Star Character Script, whatever is, whatever script is in here, it's gonna be, it's gonna be will be parented to the character when the to the player's character when it, when someone joins when a player joins clones are put in the character. So now we got gotta make sure that humanoid dot break joints on death equals false. So then you know when you die your limbs go everywhere. Um, we make you do this to make sure that your that your limbs don't do that. So now we're gonna do. This is where now this is is where the real work starts. You know. So you need to. Yeah. This is now. This is where the real work goes in. We're gonna do. Humanoid dot died colon connect. Function. Not, but don't put anything in the function. Hold on one second, just got to. There. I'm gonna do for index joint in pairs script dot parent parent go and get the sentence. So what's gonna do is not only is it gonna find the parent of the thing, no, it's gonna find the child of the Scripts, it's gonna get the children of the children and the children of the children. So there's a difference between get children and get descendants. For example, let's do starter player. This is the children. This is the child of it. This isn't. This is the child of this. But but all these are descendants of it. So it's gonna get all the children of the children. So now we're gonna so then to complete the four we do. Now we're gonna do if if joint colon is a joints are motor 60 so motor 60 then local socket actually um yes yeah, socket equals instance dot new ball socket constraint local attachment one actually no zero equals instance dot new attachment local attachment one equals instance dot new attachment now we're gonna do attachment zero dot parent equals joint dot part zero attachment one dot parent equals joint dot part one. Oh no. Wait. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna do socket dot dot parent equals joint dot parent. Socket dot attachment zero equals attachment zero. Socket dot attachment one 
equals attachment one. Then a attachment zero dot C frame equals joint dot C zero. Attachment one dot C frame equals joint dot C one. Then we're going to do socket dot limits enabled equals true. Socket dot twist limit, wait, twist limits enabled equals true. Now we're going to get rid of the actual joint. So we're going to do joint colon destroy. So now, if we go up here and press play, we should ragdoll. We should ragdoll. Now, to test this, I'm actually going to ragdoll, like, dive from a part. Not dive from a part. So I'm going to make a part, and then, and then I'm going to put my spawn here. So now we can actually test this. So we're going to play. Okay guys, so we wait. Okay guys, so we are in our game and if we just go on this little ledge here and we go to here, reset character. Oh, there it is, there it is, we're ragdolling. Unfortunately, I, d I didn't ragdoll. There it is, I, okay. So, um, I'm just gonna, on the sledge. No! Okay, that didn't work. I mean, we can still test the ragdoll out by doing that. For some reason, my head's bobbling about like that, but it's fine. Totally fine. There. Okay, we can actually test this now. I'm gonna reset character. Boom. And we rag and we rag doll. And that is how you make a ragdoll script in Roblox Studio. A ragdoll death script. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. And make sure you subscribe and join the Squad. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.